Let's get into the material setup. Create a new material. Do not delete the printable BSDF though. The first node you want to add is a texture coordinate and a mapping node. The scale on this mapping node will control the scale of the overall texture. It is possible to add a value node to make this process easier. This mapping node will then be plugged into three different mapping nodes. They will all be connected to a Voronoi texture that needs to be set to 3D, F1 and Euclidean. Sorry for my pronunciation. The color ramp is there for those of you who want to customize the plated metal further, but I do not use them in this tutorial. The scale on the Voronoi texture determines the size of the squares, but I use the scale of the mapping node to change the shape of these squares to create different variations in sizes and shapes. You may want to add more rows if you want even more variety of shaped panels. These color ramps then should be connected using a math node set to maximum. This creates for the overlapping metal effect. This will be plugged into two separate color ramps. The first affects the color of them and the second affects the height of the plates. It is usually best not to change this much at all. The bump node strength can be changed to affect how thick the plates look but I tend to keep this at one. Finally, the printable BSDF can control the roughness and metalness. 